What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. My name is Leandro Demon Riva and today we're gonna to be making a Pisco Sour. The Pisco Sour was purportedly invented by Victor Von Morris, who was an American bartender who left his native United States to go to Lima, Peru in 1903. And um, a purportedly he had created the drink in 1916 at his very own bar, the Morris Bar inside the Mori Hotel. Um, there, because of David Wondrich, we know that there is a mention of the cocktail as early as 1903. I'm not sure if that means that it was created before Victor Morris had a chance to create it, or maybe he created it right when he got there. I have no idea. Uh, I will do some digging and I will and and um, and stuff and things, and I'll let you guys know. Um, as far as uh, the cocktail goes, I just want to let you guys know that Pisco is basically brandy made in Peru and it is you and there are a lot of different piscos that use different grape varietals the end product of your pisco sour is going to change depending on what grape varietal you choose today we're using acholado which is the um uh which is uh supposedly the best one to make a pisco sour with i don't know i am not the world's foremost to 30 on pisco uh, i will be learning a lot more and I do one day hope to speak to someone that knows more than me and then maybe I'll pass that on to you or maybe we'll do an episode like that or something like that. Um, also, I bear is mentioning that my producing partner, Marius, who is behind the camera right now, and I say that because people go, who's Marius? Who's this Marius you talk about? Well, he's my producing partner. He's behind the camera. He does a lot of the edit. He does all of the editing and he troubleshoots anything that I need troubleshot. He is a wonderful man. He traveled to Peru this last year and he went to the Hotel Murray and he got some footage of a bartender named Eloy, I can't remember his last name, uh, who has been making Pisco Sours in this same bar, in the same bar at the Mori Hotel for 60 years. So hopefully we'll be able to include that footage in this video. I really do hope so. Anyway, let's get into making the cocktail. First thing we're gonna do, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. Ooh, I'm gonna move that out of our way so you see. Three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. Two ounces of Pisco. And we are gonna use an egg white for this. So we're gonna grab our other tin and we're gonna do, get the egg white off. We got a nice clean break this time, which is good. We're just gonna discard this. We're gonna add this together. Lock our tins. I'm gonna wipe the excess egg white off my hands with a rag. And then we are going to do a nice dry shake to emulsify that egg white. Oh, that came off, that would have been a disaster. go. Add our piece of ice. We're using a rock of ice this time because it gives you a little bit less dilution, but it gives you a lot of very good texture. It definitely gives you superior texture when you shake with a big rock. So that's what we're doing. to strain into our glass. Now, the garnish is Angostura bitters, and instead of going across it like this with my bitters bottle, which I like to do, today we're gonna be a little bit neater about it. And we're just gonna take an eyedropper, and we're just going to drop the bitters onto the foam in a pattern. Maybe a little more there. And then we're gonna take a little toothpick and we're just going to drag the bitters down and make little hearts. And there you have it, my friends, the Pisco Sour. 
I am going to mess it up right now, but I am going to taste it. I mean, it's bright and citrusy. It's very well balanced. The pisco comes through so much. And what's great is that it's just like so much lighter than let's say like a whiskey sour would be. You can really ta taste the grape in it. And it pairs well with the lime and the simple syrup. It's a very well balanced drink. Uh, so there you have it, my friends, the pisco sour.